G'day guys, my name is Michael and I am the Dead Aussie Gamer and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys tales from around my table. One of the questions I got asked in Discord was, what was the best character death that I'd ever seen? And honestly, I've just seen so many character deaths and some of them were just so fantastic. It's so hard to put one character death as the best. So I've decided to break it down into two categories. The best character death um, in terms of like the best um, self-sacrifice moment in which a character had to die in order for the group to win. And the second is the best emotional response. Something that was just just palpably dramatic and it, it, it impacted everyone at the game. And uh, you know what, for the hell of it, I'll also throw in the best NPC character death as well, just for fun. Alright, let's start off with probably one of my favourite um, stories to tell, and that is of course the uh, best self-sacrifice death. Now, uh, understand that I play a lot of games with young adults, right? Anywhere between the ages of 10 to 17 are my usual group that I run with. We were running a game of Pathfinder in the Galarian setting of Irisin, a wintry, Russian-y kind of area, and it was one of their pre-written adventures. The adventure was pretty, pretty good, but we ended up losing a lot of players and gaining some new ones, and it turned out that about 75% of the characters we were running with weren't there from the start of the adventure, so they weren't really invested in the story as much as a handful of them. The consensus came back that, look, we needed to end that game and we wanted to play something new, but the characters and the players, they kind of wanted to continue at a later date if they wanted to. So I came up with a custom story, something that involved the entire group getting into like this cliffhanger ending that is open-ended. They maybe lived, they maybe died. That was the goal. So the group was in the main capital city of Irison, and they were being attacked by a white dragon. This dragon uh, was hunting down and murdering people who were associated with the players, and eventually the dragon turned its attention to the general populace. The group, in order to be heroes, lured the, uh, oh, sorry, guided, I suppose, guided the, uh, the civilians through the smuggling tunnels to get onto the river and to hopefully escape. However, they incidentally lured the dragon in along with them. Now, in this moment, the dragon is moving through and digging and unburying the tunnels, trying to get in and get at all the civilians. And the group decides, look, we need to sacrifice ourselves. We have to set these charges and detonate these tunnels while the dragon is in it. We can't do that and set a fuse because we just don't have time. So everyone decided we are going to stay behind. Except one. One kid decided, hey, I, I don't want I don't want to die. Why would my character want to die? No, I love my character. He has a sense of self-survival. He, he's, no, no, this is not going to happen. So the group turned and said, that's okay. You go and guide the other, um, the civilians, make sure that they're out and then make sure they get away. We will take care of the dragon. And the player was happy with that. A battle ensued. The dragon emerges. He roars and uses his ice breath to seal off the cavern. Um, the only way out is the exit that the survivors have gone through, and the heroes are the only thing stopping the dragon from ripping them to pieces. The tank steps forward and begins to engage. Two rounds later, the tank is frozen in a block of ice. Of the four charges, two have been detonated. The entire place is becoming unstable with the weight and the battle cry of this, this white dragon. However, the last two were struggling. And the dragon was no longer being held back by the mighty barbarian. Instead, the dragon was now attacking the people working on the pylons. This was terrible because they were just struggling over and over again to try and set the charges off. Boom! The third charge finally goes off. But the last one, the last one is now behind the dragon. The group had accidentally lured the dragon so that it was now blocking the last pylon. Death seemed almost certain. That's when the character who had said he wanted his character to live. The character arrives and without even blinking an eyelid, breaks the seal and seals the chamber. In that moment, everyone was just in awe. No one expected him to come back. No one expected this character to, to put their life on the line. It, 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 was, it was so far out of character, but it was that moment of, I saw how hard everyone was fighting. I saw how strong everyone was being. And I couldn't leave them alone. You know, we've been together for so long. I, I didn't want them to be alone. And it was just, it was the most, like, 
Like, that was probably the best self-sacrifice moment I've ever seen, right? Because for me, self-sacrifice isn't about like, oh, I'm the tank, I've got highest hit points, I will stand in front, oops, I died first. Or, everyone get out of here, I'm the tank, therefore you can escape because I will buy the most amount of time. For me, self-sacrifice is about that genuine doing what you don't want to do, because death is not what you're after, doing something that makes the group win because of the sacrifice you've made. That, for me, I don't know, I just, I loved that moment because the character wasn't a tank. He wasn't a, a warrior. He wasn't trying to do something. In fact, he was trying to do the, the cowardly thing. He was trying to get away and live. But um, that, that one moment just changed everything. Uh, had a whole new respect for that player as well. So that was, that was very cool. All right. Dramatic death. Now, the dramatic death was, was one that affected, I, I guess it affected me the most. Um, it did affect the people of that table as well, but, but I'll, I'll go into it. So, we were playing uh, another Pathfinder game, and I was playing a Trox, which is basically this big, four-armed alien with large muscles. Think like a giant beetle. It's like an Umber Hulk, right? And he was a Hell Knight, so he had big, thick armor, and I was the warrior tank. You know, I stood at front and I wailed on people. That was my, my big thing. We were in a, um... Uh, an enchanted tower from a wizard and my character was of course in the lead and following me was my character's best friend who was you know always there to support me we we tanked together we kind of so you know kept each other in line it, it was like a long friendship and we were many games into this we were like i think on out of six books i think we were in book four or book five so you know we'd been playing for ages and all of a sudden this entire area got covered in a thick and dense mist, and I couldn't see anything. Um, next thing I know, there are voices coming from the darkness. You know, I, I take a swing, I try to grab at something, can't find anything around me. Then this creature shows up and casts confusion on my character. As it does this, the other ally, my, my best friend, he accidentally tried to basically cast a spell to, you know, get rid of the fog or to try and, you know, try and find out where our enemy was and hit my character. Now, the ruling is, is that when a person hits a confused character, the character attacks them pretty much until death. My character then turned to his best friend and just wailed on him. Uh, and my character was very tough. My character did a lot of damage and, um, yeah, he tried to defend himself he, you know, sort of took defensive stances. He did not attack me. And every time it got to my turn, like, my heart was in my chest. Like, it was just like, a, oh, my God, I don't want to be doing this. I am I am literally bludgeoning my be my character's best friend to death with his bare hands. And eventually he did, he did die. I beat him to death with his fists. And the, the good, I suppose the good thing was I didn't turn on the rest of the group because my character just kept hitting him and when the game when the game ended you know the, the player was was of course distraught like he did not like the fact that his character was just murdered um and for me i i just didn't know what to do i was like where does my character go from here he's always been like this lawful character who has always done what is right he's done he's not been violent he's not you know, he's, he's not an angry person. In fact, he, he uses his big size and stature in peaceful ways. He usually uses his intimidating physique to just scare people out of fights. And here he was now standing with the blood of his friend, friend drenched on his fists. It was, yeah, it was, it was an emotional, emotional period. I think it took like, I think, I want to say four games before my character was before he was ready to do anything, you know, like he was just so, so sad. Um, and you know, that, that happens, you know, you have like these, these kind of tragic deaths that really stick with you. And even now, even thinking about it, I get, I get really sad about it because, because I think about my character and his mindset and how distraught he was. was yeah, that was a thing. Okay. Uh, the last story I want to share with you guys for character death is uh, the best NPC death. Now, the best NPC death um, was, you, you know, I, I always like to, to throw out Animal Companion, so I'm not going to use an Animal Companion um, for this particular one. 
But I'm going to go for uh, another one of those clutch moments, that moment where live or die, that that's what's about to happen. So I played a um, I played in a game in which we were all knights, heroes and champions, cavaliers, hell knights, pl- um, paladins, you name it. It was an Arturian based legend in which a dark king had taken over from the previous king and the kingdom was being thrown into disarray and chaos. So we had to gather up the best knights from each of the different kingdoms, from the realm, and mount a massive defense. So we did. And um, we ended up fighting in a glorious battle to get into the castle and to confront the king. Now one of our players was using the cavalier um, character. And he was, she was a, um, a warrior on a, on a mount with her lance. And I think she ended up working at like times, I think it was times five or times six damage on a critical hit. And she hit crits like crazy, right? We think we calculated her minimum damage was like 170 or something like that, which instant killed everything basically, if she crit. So we, um, we looked at this scenario and we were like, okay, cool. The king is here. The king has got this this weapon, this cursed blade that has caused him to become evil. And if it manages to hit any of us, it basically is an instant kill effect. So she decided to run ahead and try to lance this, this king. And the king charged and swung as well. And at the time, the GM said this, flat out. Because of the way that this game works and because of how long we've been playing... I'm going to allow this roll. If it... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. If the king rolls anything but a natural one, he will hit and kill the um, the knight, the cavalier. And if you don't roll a natural 20, then your hit simply will not hit the king. The player agreed. The player took the uh, that challenge, that bet... And we sat there with bated breath as we watched them roll off. The two figures moving towards each other. And as they clashed, the dice rolled. We filmed it, actually. Um, maybe I'll, I'll find the footage and I'll put it up at some point. Um, and as they clashed, not even kidding. Natural 20 on the player. Natural 1 on the king. The king gets skewered straight through the chest and pinned to the wall. The blade falls to the ground. Everyone lives. Everyone survives. And that NPC dies. I was just... It was one of those glorious moments. Like, we were yelling so damn loud. I feel like... I feel like it was like 3 or 4 a.m. And we we were like, you know, oh my god. Like, uh, we were just so... Like, because it was just such a wonderful moment. It was just like the best fate alignment that you could possibly do. It was great. It was fantastic. So, so yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed these stories. Uh, if you have a best character death, uh, leave them in the comments below. Try to go the same way I did. Uh, what was your best self-sacrifice moment? What was your best dramatic or emotional moment? And what was your best, like, kind of clutch moment where um, the players ended up killing a boss or a creature at the last known minute? Um... Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, of course, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Go check out all of our other cool stuff. Until next time, guys, as always, game hard or die trying. See us.